guys, welcome back to the channel. We are in the Beltone neighborhood today and we're gonna walk along second. Just take a look at what all the businesses look like today. Back in our 20s, that was kind of the go-to place for bars and clubs in Seattle. Obviously, we're being in our 30s, that is not somewhere we end up very often, but wanted to take a look and see what it looked like. So we're gonna start off here going down Broad Street and we're gonna head down second and we'll take a look and see what we find. So Sculpture Park is going to be down here to our right, right near the waterfront. Uh, if you want to see what that park looks like at the end of my waterfront video, that's actually where I finished that video at, out at was the uh, Sculpture Park, which is a pretty cool park at some point. I think I do need to go through and explore it a little more because I just did a quick loop around my battery ran out right at the very end of it and that was probably my second video I ever made for this channel so early on but uh it's been a video that's done well as far as people enjoying the content from it so it was a beautiful sunset warm winter day worked out really well so I think our plan for this video is we're gonna walk along second and we're gonna head towards downtown Seattle and then we're gonna loop back a little bit and head towards the Cinerama which is a movie theater down here in Seattle which is pretty well known for having a rowdy audience so the type of where people cheer and get excited and uh, make lots of noise it's just a unique experience here in Seattle but uh, if you've heard of the Cinerama you probably know about it I think I've seen a Star Wars movie there once and I think I even saw the Rocky Horror Picture Show there once. And people were like throwing popcorn and doing gags at different parts during the movie. It was a very long time ago, but part of uh, Seattle memories. So Belltown area is right next to Queen Anne. And well, basically it's sandwiched between Queen Anne and downtown. So lots of nice sky rises. Um, you go down towards South Lake Union, you have all the new construction. And even in this area, there's gonna be some newer construction as well. So um, I kind of think of it as more of a neighborhood type vibe, but with also some clubs on second and first. So kind of losing daylight, need to get home, would like to, also check out first, but I figured second would be a good place to start. Maybe if you guys are interested in more Belltown content, we can uh, come down here again. I'm trying to film these videos in bunches, so I'm doing about two to four videos every time I come down and check out an area. So this is the last one of the day. It's always kind of cool randomly finding spots where you see the Space Needle all around town. As uh, more and more tall buildings go in, I think that's going to be less and less of a thing, but um, it'll be cool to see what's to come over the next few years. So overall, everything looks pretty clean so far. Our first boarded up business. I don't know if they just went out of business or if they poured it up for a reason. Looks like it's a flower shop. So I don't know if that cart just got damaged or if there are two separate places there. Seattle Heights looks fancy. boxing class going on here. That's kind of cool. There's always something going on in the city.
actually getting into more of the restaurants and bars type location. See a little bit of the water. Yeah, I can't complain. It's a nice night. We've got some great weather. So let me know if you guys like the other content that I'm putting up outside of Seattle. I am kind of enjoying getting outside of Seattle a bit and showing some other areas. So a video of Redmond and going up to Snoqualmie Falls is fun. And I'm looking forward to doing more stuff like that. That's uh, pretty fun to not just be in the city. And I'm definitely going to be getting some camping trips in. So I hope you guys like that content as well. So... This restaurant here, Marrakesh Authentic Moroccan Restaurant. Uh, really cool restaurant. I have not been there in years, but pretty much you sit down on the floor and you're around a circular table and you just eat uh, food right out of a plate, right in the middle. And basically share your food. I highly recommend it. There was a belly dancer that we've been talking about there. So it looks like belly dancing Wednesday through Sunday. Really cool experience. Highly recommend it. Rob Roy cocktails. So I mean, from what I'm seeing, it still looks like Belltown to me. It doesn't look too bad. It's uh, relatively quiet today. It is a Monday night. Rendezvous cocktails. Looks like kind of a cool place. Now we're getting into not a great area. We're just gonna speed on through. So all this stuff is boarded up, smashed, graffitied. So even in Belltown, we're we're still having issues. That's unfortunate. So, once I got to Bell, um, definitely seeing some illegal activity, some drug use, uh, some people not necessarily that I want to be around or stay close to. So, glad we're past that. Seems like there's a little skate park in that area as well, and there were some issues down there as well. So, for whatever reason, that's a congregation point of not good things so got some graffiti that's actually just really nice kind of cool looking but not sure if they actually asked for that or if somebody just drew it
Old Stiflin is still a pretty happening place. There's still lots of bars, lots of, re lots of restaurants. It's, yeah, you know, the idea of Seattle is dying is probably an exaggeration, but the idea that Seattle is safe definitely is an exaggeration as well. I would not call what is happening down here safe. Um, you know, other than the police being on 3rd and Pike, I've seen very minimal police anywhere in the city when I've been walking around, which is kind of worrisome. Um, you know, unless I think a violent crime is happening or something really, you know, definitely something violent, I don't think you're going to be getting much of a response from the authorities. They obviously have more things to deal with than what they can handle. And it's, uh, you know, the idea of bringing my kids down here, that just doesn't feel like something I'd want to do. And even coming down here with my wife doesn't feel like something I really want to do anymore. I'd rather go somewhere with less issues and, you know, feeling better, which is, which is too bad because we really liked a lot of these areas. So, um... So far, my my experience is telling me stay away from Belltown, stay away from downtown, stay away from Pioneer, stay away from Third and Pike, South Lake Union still great, Fremont still great, U District still great, Capitol Hill from what I've seen so far hasn't been too bad. This is kind of cool. We got like some kind of art exhibit going on here. But uh, overall there's just places I would rather spend my time in other areas. What are you making a video for? What's that? What are you making a video for? Different cities within or different neighborhoods within Seattle. Really? Yep. Yeah, you take care. So more theater. This actually got saved recently. Uh, it was gonna get torn down and they were gonna build everything new. I can't remember if they got in the historic front or what they did, but they ended up saving it. And kind of cool because it's a staple of Seattle that almost was not saved. So we'll add that for the intro here. So like I said, we're gonna go down and catch over to the Cinerama. Uh, that's pretty much the end of Belltown going down second. Definitely looks different than the last time I was there. All the uh, bars that we went to, Tia Luz, I didn't see that, I think that's gone. There used to be a billiards pool house, so it was kind of cool what we go, what go to, I didn't see that. So things have, have definitely changed. by the Cinerama and that is where we are going to end for the night. So yeah, if you guys like this content, please let me know. If you'd like to see more, like and subscribe. And we will uh, keep exploring and keep on going through stuff and seeing what we got. clothes right on the side of a fence it looks like I've never seen that before yeah yeah literally pick out a clothing rack 
and clothes out. They're selling clothes. That's <laughs> that's a different thing than I've ever seen. Wow. Just steal the clothes and sell them on the street. All right. I, I guess that's uh, just allowed to happen. Stole an entire clothing rack. So we're on 3rd and Lenora, so that's another area with quite, uh, quite the sketchiness going on. Not as bad as some of the other areas, but definitely not uh, somewhere where you're going to see the best of characters. But if you're looking for some good deals on clothes, they have an open market on clothing to buy. It's an interesting experience. So I'm curious if Cinerama is still open or if they've shut it down for now because the front of it looks pretty closed off. But let's go take a look and see what we find. we got some movie posters on the side. Some of them are lit up. Some of them aren't. Looks like it's the same poster, which is interesting. So I'll go take a look. That is definitely something I would like to go to again. It's been a long time since I've been there. Good memories. Is the Cinerama shut down? Sorry? Cinerama, is it shut down? Uh, I've been here for a month and I haven't seen anything come up yet. Man, that sucks. So, are you only been here a month? Yeah. And so, if you live close to here, that's a really cool movie theater if they ever open it back up. Is it? Yeah. So, like, people get all into the movies, scream and yell and oh. clap and throw stuff. <laughs> so I vaguely remember uh, I think uh, on Google I think it showed something was playing here okay yeah I think Paul Allen actually remodeled it so oh. it's it's cool I would recommend it if it sure, thank you. it's too bad it's not open <laughs> no, that says exit only so maybe it's on the other side that used to be the entrance Well, I don't know what the deal is. They've got everything covered up, so they must be maybe closed for now. Hopefully they're reopening, but that's a little unfortunate. Cool part of Seattle if you're uh, down here. I'd highly recommend seeing a movie here if this reopens. I'm going to look and check the other side, but that used to be the entrance right there. So... Yeah, I don't know. Apparently it's uh, closed. Well, that's gonna do it for this video. Thanks for tuning in. Let me know where you wanna see next. And until next time, keep exploring.